You ever met a nigga with low T? They be depressed, gaining fat, dick can't get up. Not, low T is nothing to play with. And y'all playing with it. Ooh. So check this out. Yes, I stopped the series. Yes, I kept losing weight. Yes, I did hit my weight goal. I'm still getting a little leaner, but that's not what this video is about. I keep seeing this weird narrative kind of form from people that I never thought I'd hear it from. We got people like Chris Jones, the natty fucking king out here, right? This nigga's just the natural nigga from, from niggadom. He's the king of the naturals, right? I heard him say on, on plenty of different occasions, why y'all worry about what another man putting in his body? I heard Alan Roberts. This is another guy I watch. He said, why are y'all worried about what another man's putting in his body? When asked about steroids. And I heard a couple of other people who are really influential in this fitness shit say, why are you worried about another, what another man's putting in his body? And this, this shocked me. Now, I don't know how long this has been going on. Y'all know I fell out of love with fitness for like two years straight. I come back, this is the new narrative. Now, when I left, the whole time I was doing the fitness shit, the whole time I was doing the fucking, the fucking YouTube shit, right? It was, fuck a fake natty. We don't, we natural guys don't listen to guys who are on steroids. Why the fuck would I listen to somebody who can bulk and gain fucking 10, 15 pounds of muscle in the off season, cut, gain two more pounds of muscle and get lean at the same time? The we're, me and that person, we're not in the same stratosphere. That is impossible to do naturally. Yet y'all watch it, get inspired by it, try to do it, fail by their program because you thought you were the problem and we just get this fucking toxic circle of bullshit. But this new narrative kind of enables that and now these niggas are shameless. I, I come back, not to YouTube, not to creating content, I come back because I'm starting to enjoy fitness again. I'm starting to enjoy fitness again, okay? I start watching little random niggas who I don't know who they are. And they're openly saying, hey man, I'm on that shit. Which is cool. Never, I've never been against that. If you're on that shit, say you're on that shit. But these niggas is shameless in a different way. These niggas is showing you their workouts, they splits, they food, how much they sleep, who they fucking, who fucking them, their mama, their daddy, oh yeah. And the last most important thing, Goddamn, this right here, they're telling you they, they steroid stack. How much they taking, what they taking, when they taking it. And then this right here, this is the craziest one. They're putting that motherfucker in a description, the, the link to get their steroids. That's what we're doing now? This shit crazy. And that's why these niggas is dropping like flies. Listen, kids and grown men, everybody in between. Listen. Steroids kill you. Niggas die every day from taking steroids. I'm talking to men specifically. We barely go to the doctor as it is. We barely get blood work, physicals, all that. Ah, fuck that. I take care of myself. I'm good. I know, I know myself. Shit. From the time I started working, when I was, like, for real, like, 16 to now I'm 27 for 11 years. That's, that happens to also be when I started working out. A, a fucking cold, especially before this, especially before that, like, just being a, <coughs> a little that, you know, for a decade, I was like, oh, fuck it. You know, we still go to work. We ride. <laughs> grown men go to work. That was just kind of how I was raised. Right? Right? We don't take care of ourselves as it is. You're gonna throw steroids into that mix? These niggas are putting the steroids in the description for you to go get 
Don't get me wrong. Some people might take steroids and have no side effects, nothing wrong with them. Others will die in their sleep. How many niggas done died this year? I'm talking below the age of 40, dying in their sleep. That ain't some shit below the age of 40, dude. I get it. You can get hit by a car any day. You can fucking walk outside and a bird can drop a rock on your head, hit you perfect, and you can fucking have an aneurysm. I don't know. Some shit could happen. But you know what you could not die for them? Steroids. Because if you don't take them. But the new narrative with these niggas on, this, on the YouTubes is don't worry about what another man is putting in his body. When I left, it wasn't that. Uh, uh, Chris Jones, King Natural. That nigga done lost his fucking mind, but f f remember back in the day when I used to really love YouTube and shit before I left? Uh, uh, one of his biggest videos on the old channel was uh, talking about Boston Lloyd. Y'all remember when Boston, he, he really started all this shit. Y'all remember when Boston Lloyd had that transformation? Now all of a sudden, Chris Jones is one of them motherfuckers like, don't worry about what no man put in his body. Alan Roberts? I still watch his shit because it's really, it's really funny. Right? He be worried about these fat motherfuckers. Calling them fat, saying this is unhealthy, don't do this, don't do that. I saw him on one of these videos. Somebody asked him about steroids. And he said, don't worry about what another man putting in his body. Whoa, hold the fuck up, my boy. You worry about what these fat fuckers is out here doing? I didn't see you roast hella fat people. Not roast, you know, you're trying to help them in a, in a, in a, in a way they're not used to, but... You be, you be telling them to put the tacos down and shit. You worry about what another man and woman putting in their body. But when it's steroids, it's cool. Because that's your friend. Look, and a slew of other creators. I'm bringing the hate back. I'm bringing the hate back. If there's a creator out here creating fitness content. And you think he on fucking steroids because he's 5'11". 200 and goddamn 30 pounds with no fat on him and he looked like that for three years straight without a break out here deadlifting 800 fucking pounds benching 500 pounds squatting 750 don't take their advice their body doesn't even work remotely the same as yours they go on a bulk for six months put 10-15 pounds of pure muscle on then cut it off. While they're cutting, they gain two to five more pounds of muscle while getting leaner. You could never, natural person watching this video, you could never. That is what that creator is doing. We look at the Mike Rashids. We look at the Simeon Pandas. All these motherfuckers. And they, bro, this TikTok shit. I don't know these little kids' names. These, these, this TikTok shit. Where these kids look like fucking statues. They're like Greek fucking gods. That's not what we're doing. They are on steroids at an early age. Their balls, a lot of their balls are never going to produce tests again. They're going to be poking themselves in the ass till the cows come home. It's just cool right now. It's not going to be cool when they're 40 and they can't afford that next shot and their dick won't get up. It's the... You never know. You never know what might happen. Times might get hard. You can't afford to, to ship in that fucking hundred dollar thing of, of uh, a test to put in your butt so you can function. You ever met a nigga with low T? They be depressed, gaining fat, dick can't get up. Not, low T is nothing to play with. And y'all playing with it. Ooh. Hey, look. I might come back with a few more drama videos because... Y'all letting this shit fly out here. And it's just fucking... It's Phoenix flying out this bitch. Y'all letting shit fly. And these kids are gonna die in a decade. They're gonna die. These 16-year-olds starting their first cycles at 16. Because cause Joe Blow looks fantastic on the steroids he's on. And he, and he said, I got it from here and I put it in the description. And he get a little affiliate, little link, little money from that. Joe Blow... Made a fucking thousand dollars this month. Now fucking 30 kids are going to die in five to ten years. Because they just jacking steroids in their veins. Because they just want to be yoked up. Not knowing that the girl they want. Probably fucking the little emo kid. The little skinny emo kid. 
Because he cares about her emotions and shit. Man, y'all. Hey, that's all I got to say. I'm coming back with the hate. The hate needs to be spread, man. Because, whoo-wee. You niggas is lost.